how to use if function in microsoft excel hello everyone welcome to excel 10 tutorial in this function explain video series i'm going to explain the if function i'm going to explain the parameters and how you can use the if function okay let's get started <laughs> In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basic uses of if function, okay? And to learn a function in Excel, it's better if you apply it. And in this tutorial, I'm going to apply the if function and I will show you how you can use it, okay? Now, here's the situation. I have some names here and score and I'm going to add grade here, okay? If the score is 40 and above, it will show us pass. And if the score is less than 40, it will show us fail. And as I have two condition here, so I I'm going to use the if function let's write the function here write equal to and then if and this is the if function and you can see it the tooltip says checks whether a condition is made and returns one value if true and another value if false okay so double click here and first is asking for the logical test so here we are going to add the comparison so select the first cell so if this score is greater than or equal to 40 then this is our logical test or this is the condition we want to check now if it's true the next parameter is value if true so if we press comma we are moved to the next parameter and if it's true then i want to show pass okay but remember i am writing text inside the formula that's why i need to write it inside double quotation now if the condition doesn't meet or if the result from this condition is false then we are going to write fail so if i press comma it's moved to the next parameter and says value if false Okay, I'm going to write here fail. Again, we are writing text inside function. That's why we are using double quotation. If I close parenthesis and if I press enter, you can see it says pass because the score is 40 and our condition was greater than or equal to 40 will pass. And if I drag it and now it shows the result, this three score is either equal or greater than 40. That's why it showed pass. And this one is less than 40. That's why it say fail. So this is how you can use if function and remember you can add different conditions inside your value if true and value if false so that i will explain in another tutorial where you can use the nested if function if you have multiple criteria to check and in this tutorial we just learn the use of if function in microsoft excel so thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching